Hi, I'm Anthony. And I'm Kinsley. And this is your Eagles TV. special edition to Eagles TV about the mock election. Now here's our special guest reporter Hayden Oliver with more information. Thank you Kinsley. Now I'm here live at Dunkinville Middle School and now we'll go to Mr. Tilford explaining exactly what's going to happen today. What we are going to do today is we are going to have a mock election. Every student in a few minutes will receive a ballot with Hillary Clinton's name and Donald Trump's name on it and each student will vote. Each first period class has been assigned a certain number of electoral votes based on how many students are in your first period class. So classes that have lots of students have lots of votes. For example, Ms. Petrie's class has the most students in first period in the school. So she has the most number of electoral votes. The office has the fewest number of students. So Comparatively, they only get one electoral vote, whereas Ms. Petrie's gets, I think, 13 electoral votes. Each student is going to vote for who they want. They select one candidate. Those votes will be counted, and whoever wins your homeroom, your first period, all of your first period's electoral votes will go to that candidate. And we will start announcing who's getting which votes starting third period. We're going to tally them throughout the day. And by the end of the day, we will know who won the popular vote for our school and who won the electoral vote for our school. We'll have a map that shows each room and it will label whether Donald Trump, who will be denoted in red, or Hillary Clinton, who will be denoted in blue, has won that homeroom, as well as how many votes, popular votes, which is the total number of students that voted for them, and then electoral votes, which is how many votes per homeroom. The whole point of this is to try and mimic what is going to happen tonight when you watch the news and you find out who is going to be president. At Duncanville, it's going to be 70 electoral votes. So the, the first candidate to get to 70 electoral votes will win. Now, well, there you have it. Teachers, will you now please hand out the ballots to your students? Students, remember, you may only select one candidate. If you select more than one candidate, or your ballot is ineligible, your ballot will be discarded and not count. I will be back periodically throughout the day to give you the most up-to-date news on the election. Before I go, let's hear some student opinions about this year's election. I would vote for Hillary Clinton because Donald Trump is not a real politician. Donald Trump, because I think he'd be good for this country and help turn it around from where it is at this point. Hillary! <laughs> Why? Because uh, she's the best. Yeah. Well, Donald Trump, because I love the wall and the pro-life. Thanks for watching. Remember to tune in each period to watch the election results. I'm Hayden Oliver, reporting for Eagles TV.